in this video i'm going to show you how to create a foreign bank account right here in nigeria so if you are looking for a way you can create a foreign bank account maybe usd or british pound or euro account that is exactly what i'm going to be showing you in this video my name is sam green and in this channel i create video around how to make money online how to start, scale, and grow your e-commerce business. How to run a profitable Facebook ad, and how to design WordPress websites. If that is what you are looking for, kindly subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notification so that anytime I drop a new video like this, you will not miss out. So, the first and the most popular one is Payoneer. All you have to do is just to go payoneer.com, or I'm just going to drop the link in the description of this video. Now, Payoneer is the most popular one, and some people do have issue with them maybe during the verification because they are owned by a foreign company so it's kind of a little bit difficult to get verification on this platform sometime depend on different factors so and this is the most popular one but in this video i'm going to be showing you four alternatives maybe you have already have pioneer before or you have another issue with them and you want to open i still want to open a foreign bank account and you don't want to use Pioneer, so I'm going to be showing you four different alternatives. And the first one I'm going to be showing you is called Payday. So this is the their official website. So if you come here, you can see that you can receive payment from anywhere in Africa, send and receive cash. They have the Android and iOS. If you want to download any of this app you can send money from to anywhere as you can see right here and what i even like about these people is that you can also create a virtual card so that you can use this virtual card to buy anything online this is dollar virtual card that you can use in place of butter card or clasher all right so if you show down you are going to see how this thing work I've already opened an account with them, so I might not be able to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how to open an account, but I'm going to walk you through the process on how you can get a virtual foreign account from them. So all you have to do is just to download the app on Play Store or you download it on App Store. So this is how the app looks like right here. So all you have to do is just to click on open and open this app. Alright, so once you on this app as you can see right here is asking me to check my account details so if i should click here it's going to review all my account details right here as you can see it's going to show all my account details but i only request for us account so right now i'm going to walk you through the process on how you can request for gbp all right so it's the same process as if you want to request for any other account so they have basically three accounts the euro the british pound and the usd which is the united states dollar so if i should click on this gbp as you can see i was not given an option to view account details right here so i was only given an option to request for virtual accounts so i'm just going to click here so the first thing i need to do is to select country so i'm going to select nigeria all right so it said the document to upload so i'm going to be uploading my international passport that is basically what i used to do most of my verification online so if you have international passport it is very easy for you because i don't know if these people actually accept nin as that the time i was making this video so i'm going to choose the passport and i'm going to input my passport number the expiring date and i'm going to click on upload once i click on upload then they will review this document then after they approve it they will notify me via email address so basically that is how you can get virtual bank account which is a foreign bank account from these people now that you can also do, if you want to create a virtual card just come here where it says card just click here and it's going to ask you to top up if you are not top up so 
and then once you top up right here you can now go ahead and create a virtual card so as you can see if you want to create a virtual card right here they are going to charge you three dollar to create a virtual card transaction between one to fifty dollar is they are going to charge you about 0 0.5 usd so if you want to make transaction between 51 to 100 dollars they are going to charge you one dollar and so on and so forth so basically that is how you can get a foreign bank account um a virtual card so the next website i'm going to show you is wise transfer so wise.com they are formerly wife transfer before they change to wise.com so these people also gives you account number but if you are opening a personal account you will be asked to deposit some amount of money maybe about 20 dollars or so before you can have access to open a personal account but if you are opening a business account in my own case i use my uk business to open an account with these people so i just i'm not going to ask to deposit that kind of amount of money so for you to get account from these people just go to play store and type wise formerly wise transfer so i'm just going to update my app so that we can continue so once i've successfully updated this i'm just going to click on open all right as you can see for you to get account with these people most of this app i'm going to show you and you are going to need to verify your account so once you pass through the verification process that is when they are going to allow you to get this virtual account so for you to get this virtual account just come here and click on this account then you are going to see account details right here so as you can see i have euro british pound usd australia dollar and so on and so forth so for me to just get my account details all i have to do is just to click on one of these then if i show down it's going to show me my account details as you can see right here you can see that this is not my name as you can see this is my company name so if you have a company and you want to open an account with them you can use your company name it's not a must to use your personal name so basically i use my uk company document to verify this and i also have a personal account with these people all right as you can see it's now showing my name not my business as you can see if i show down here it's going to show my business right here this is my personal account so you can also use your personal account to open account with these people and this is my personal account i've not actually verified it so if i should come right here to the account details and click on it you can see that they are giving me some information so if i should click on continue and uh, if i should click on one of these as you can see they are going to tell me to fill my personal data. i already do that so they are going to tell me to deposit at least ten thousand that is how much they are going to deposit as you to deposit which is it was twenty dollars before it was initially twenty dollars before now but if you are doing this conversion right now it's about 15 dollars so i'm not really sure so after that they are going to ask you to verify your identity so the first thing they are going to ask you to do is to make a deposit so depending on how you want to do this you are going to make a deposit then after you make a deposit you'll be allowed to request for the foreign account details all right so the third website i'm going to show you is called gray.co you can also get a foreign bank account from gray.co and all you have to do is just to come to app.gray.co then you can register and log in or you can just check the link in the description of this video so once you get to this website all you have to do is to click here and you are going to see account and reports so you are going to click on this account right now i've already request for all the account that i'm supposed to request for on in this app so as you can see this is my uk account this is my euro account and this is my us account so all you have to do just like similar to 
the other platform we have been working with they are going to ask for your means of identity which you can use your international passport or driving license so once you submit the details it's going to take sometimes going to take few minutes while sometimes going to be instant sometimes it's going to take few days or few hours depend on if you are doing this on weekend or during the weekday so basically that is how to work with this platform and the last one i'm going to be showing you here is called gpay so these people also helps you with account so if i should come here this is my usd account so if i should view it you are going to see this account here. this is my account name the bank name the account number and the routing number if i should come back here and change this to maybe gbp account i'm still going to see different thing as you can see right here this is my gbp account so same thing you can do here you can do similar thing there so just get your account detail and another thing i like about this platform is that you can also get their virtual card so all you have to do is just to come here and create the card and for you to follow this account is very simple all you have to do is to navigate your mouse right here and click on add forward so for you to add for you are going to add it to your nera wallet which you can later convert to your maybe gpp or usd account so just add the amount you want to forward and click on continue so it's going to ask you how do you want to forward this bank account so do you want to use the bank transfer or you want to transfer from the wise which i showed you earlier this wise transfer all right so we are going to use bank which is nigeria bank so you are going to, once you pick this you are just going to forward the account so once you get here it's going to tell you are you forwarding within nigeria or you are forwarding outside nigeria so transfer outside nigeria is not available so you can only forward within nigeria so this is the account you are going to transfer this money to so once you transfer this money to this account then you can just refresh your account these are the five different ways you can get foreign bank accounts in nigeria i hope you find this video helpful if you find this video helpful kindly like comment and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop an interesting video like this you will not miss out